Huh. That's not doing anything either, so we've done those. Guess we could cross. Try the other door C. You have three minutes, Dante. Well, there's an A door right there. It's not. Oh no, that's C then. Fucking confused. <laughs> door two, door B. Guess we could do door B. Door B prime. <clears throat> so I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out what we would have to do. So now we're on the highest level. We're back here again. So can't go there. Ah, oh, shit! I don't know. This is extremely confusing. A door with a prime written. <clears throat> Oh. Wait a minute. Oh no. Hmm. So we're now on this. We can't get to that ladder. We can't get to that cord. There's door zero. Oh, I don't know. A rusted metal door. And doing this door will end the whole thing. And I think can't do anything with this door. Shit. Yeah, it's gonna take a couple tries. <laughs> Did that, went through door A. I guess we could try to see what the hell happens if we try and go through door two. A door with <clears throat> well, at least I'm getting familiar with the doors. And then I did. I think door C. Door C. Okay. I'm gonna interact with this door and just see what happens. A rock. Fuck it. <laughs> it does not appear to be locked. watch with a key this again. so we can't just grab one we have to be careful but it unlocks the second but it ends it though is there a weird order I need to do this in 
Date, there is no time left. Damn it, what the hell is Boss up to? I am extremely confused on what I need to do because that unlocks the second lock. Something to cancel out that negative aspect of 999? <clears throat> hmm. So we did that. We did that key. And that's the right key, though. It's a key. It also gives us this negative effect, which we can diminish that. So we did that. Hmm. Kind of wondering. We'll go through the door. And then we'll go through. Not that door, yeah. Let's go over here. So we need to open the second door. A door. And I'm going to have to use this. It's like a Then we go through door C. Door Oh. We're on the second Okay, then we interact with the drum barrel. Unless we can do something about this. Nine. Slide in the gap, which will take 999 seconds. Let's just do it to see what timey we get. Yes. Ah, uh, we got the same timey. Damn it. So we'll push this. An oil drum hung with fire. <clears throat> Fast forward. Then we can't cut it in half, though. Oh, I bet. I wonder. Hmm. Wonder if I can. I'm gonna try and restart the Somnium. I think I need to keep that one second not use it I think that's the key to keeping the time stable so okay <clears throat> a rusted metal door oh yeah it's a uh... shit we need to get a timey to reduce that time But we got the timey. Reduce the amount of time we'll waste. Reduce it. Break it. Step, step, step. And now we'll pick up the key. <clears throat> Yeah, and can't negate that, sadly. So they kind of tramp you into using that one second at first. I think they trap you by using the one second on the barrel or opening the other door. So don't use it. <clears throat> We gotta save this for opening the second door. Uh, 
So instead of opening it, we'll... I think kicking it will work, and now we'll only take... Or do we want to tackle it and get that 1-6? Hmm. We'll find out if we need the 1-6. <clears throat> choice but to go through door C. And I guess what we could do is use the one third to get that one six. Oh we're on the second floor again. Okay. And now we'll go to the drum. An oil drum hung with wire. And that's only seven seconds, so we'll just push it. Alright, we should have the timings we need in order to do this properly. A rusted metal door. Reduce that by literally one second. It does not appear to be locked. This happens. This is watch. So we open the second door. Where's his watch? Ah. It's a key with a watch beside it. The hands indicate 345. 345. Pick it up. <clears throat> So, and now, oh, there's multiple keys. It's a key with a watch beside it. The hands indicate 250. Maybe the time of death? That had an eyeball. And there's a key at five. It's a key with a watch beside it. The hands indicate five o'clock. In the morning? No, that is not what I mean. Reduce that by half. This isn't it either. If the time on the clock is relevant, what is it related to? Something to do with Renju? Hmm. I think we already got the right one, though. Well, there's a key... there... and there. It's a key with a watch beside it. The hands indicate 11 o'clock. This isn't it either. Hmm. If the time on the clock is relevant, what is it related to? I think it's death. It's a key with a what? Pick it up. Ah. The D door. I will try the key. <clears throat> yeah, try it. It opened. If I have to do this again, I'll know exactly where the key is. <clears throat> this door too. Hmm. Isn't there a pipe somewhere? So that's the pipe. 
multiple doors, and there's a door three, and there's a control panel behind that. I guess on what we need to do, let's get to the control. Rows of monitors and buttons. <clears throat> Best kit. This appears to be old. I believe this computer controls the factory's electronics. It appears to require a key to activate. We need a key. Okay. So we know we need a key. I guess we could turn this pipe somehow. Kick it. That worked. <clears throat> oh, it, it's just as I calculated. Totally. We're surprised, admit it. A rusted metal door. We're gonna have to use the Most one. The ice is gone now. Cause none of that is doable. Well, maybe that one, but let's do that one. <clears throat> so the one seconds or. Are... Like, you can't use it on anything else except for this. This key has control panel written on the tab. Control panel? The one right there? Okay. Oh, shit. Monitors and buttons. Guess we'll turn the key, but it's gonna hurt us a bit. There. Oh. So? Scaffold, a new route appears. Okay, let's move it. Rows of monitors and buttons. One minute. Hurry. Rotate key or press the switch. <laughs> hey, got stuck. This mm. button is indeed the one needed to move the scaffold, but. Huh. There might be another step we have to do first. Rows of monitors and buttons. Rotate. Uh. And then we can... Alright. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Rows of monitors and buttons. And then we press it. And then we'll have to rotate key again. Uh. Okay. Rosa. Rotate key. Now we'll elongate it. It extended. So we'll go through this path. Now we can use the route to door B. Alright. So we have to go through door D. Go to second floor. And I guess E? I really hope we have enough time. Door D. Let's reduce it. Let's go through three seconds. So we'll get a one for this. And then I think E is the case. I think. Or do we want to do E prime? I don't fucking know. Door E. <clears throat> Maybe E prime or no? Shh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Dante. Door A? Maybe door A. Or C. And then B. Door B.
Okay. Oh my god. So wait. It's door A. And there's a door F. What is over here that we need to interact with? Door F. This is the first time we've seen it. There's like no room for the error. First time we've been here. That big door. If we can see what's in there, we'll figure something out. Okay. There's a ladder. I know, I know. Tackle it, lift it. Cause it doesn't matter. Let's tackle it. Ready? Oh, chain reaction. is awfully dangerous hey that door maybe we can open that one now check it out oh shit a rusted metal door i really hope this is the last door because we don't have a one to use i'm going to open it Did she witness all those? I mean, she did see all... Well, she didn't see all the murders. Wow. If we did solve this, we solved it in the nick of time again. <laughs> no room for error in this one. Except for picking up all those keys. to the control room on the third floor. At once. Oh, but we don't have time. Or we don't have to do anything. Oh, thank God. So we would not have time to re return to the control room, like, right away. So all those... Oh, what? That happened there. Who's choking him out? I am really confused. So should Gia. Then she killed So. This is a very weird timeline, so. That was her. None of it makes sense. What the hell is going on? <clears throat> like mass hysteria. Date, what are you doing? Six minutes are up. Wait, wait, Hitomi is... Date, you can't go any longer. Four shut down. No. Hmm. Oh shit.
Lee's headquarters. I took a look around your head, and I discovered something. <clears throat> something about the new Cyclops serial killings. Apart from Ota, there are four victims. Shoko Nadami, Renju Okiura, Iris Sagan, and So Sejima. Who was responsible for these murders? Apparently, four perps. <laughs> Shoko was stabbed by Renju with an ice pick. Renju was strangled to death by Iris. So cut open Iris's body, but who shot So? It was you. In other words, all of these murders were committed by different people. There wasn't just one killer. That's how it looks on the surface, anyway. But that's not the truth, is it? There's only one culprit, one person, and that person is... Yes, you, the person in front of me right now. You're blaming the commander of Abyss for this? No, not boss. The person inside boss's head. Because the switch. Can you at least try to make sense? <coughs> All right, I'll explain. You know about the abandoned chemical plant in Kabasaki? There's a prototype sink machine there. Mm -hmm. You use that device to swap around bodies one by one. In other words, the entire egg ends up being replaced. Mind, consciousness, memory, they are traded, switched. So it's not actually boss with us. I don't know where it started, but at some point, you got into Shoko's brain. Then, you got into Renju's. And got rid of Shoko's body. After Renju was Iris. You strangled Renju using Iris. After that, into So. Who you used to kill Iris and Ota at the cold storage warehouse. So who were you originally? Now, you're in Boss's body. Inside her head. I see. If you know that much, then I have nothing left to hide. Yes. I am the culprit behind the new Cyclops serial killings. I guess you can call me the new Cyclops killer. So who are you? Saito. Uh. Saito Sejima. Congressman Sejima's son. What? I researched Saito thoroughly, but I cannot find any images of him on the internet. He is listed on the family register. But I cannot find any photographs. Before I do, there's something I want to hear from you. How did you know about the prototype sink machine? And not only that, you also seem to know what the sink machine is truly capable of. Why is that? That's... Regaining your memories, are you? Human memory is fractal. If you retain even a single piece of it, it's possible to recreate the whole thing. Pieces of memories are like roots that grow into every corner of the brain, gradually, slowly, taking its time. I imagine the same thing is happening in your brain right now. A fractal is a figure with self-similarity. Allow me to explain. See this? Whichever fragment you cut, you will see a similar shape. The whole is made up of its similar parts. This is called a fractal figure. Memories in the brain are similar, 
That is what he is explaining. He is claiming that from a few pieces, you can rebuild the memory. exist. That was me. You imitate her well. From the way you talked in your body language, it was like the real Iris. Earlier, too. You almost had me fooled. Your imitation of Boss was... perfect. Yes, there's a reason for that. Let me define some terms first. The person's memory and sense of self. Let's call that personality. It isn't quite the right word, but it'll suffice. Now, transferring that personality into someone else's brain, let's call that parasitism. The one transferring is the parasite. The one being transferred into is the host. Are you with me so far? Moving on. Even after the personality exchange is complete, the host's memory isn't completely lost. About 1% remains in the brain. So, a parasite could use that 1% to imitate the language and behavior of the host. That's how I knew about the warehouse and Sunfish Pocket, by the way. Thanks to Renju and Iris's remaining memories. I'm telling you, it was me. Why are you making me repeat myself? That means the Somnium I entered on Sunday. That's right. It was me. <laughs> Makes sense. <clears throat> Has all his memories. So he was the red figure. He was the witness. Or non technically not. What's going on here? Wait a minute. In a weird way, the whole fractal thing <clears throat> makes me wonder if we're Saito. Cause we and somehow are like we had a dual personality syndrome or something like that and this is our other personality I'm stretching it but we'll find out fine I still have time time you'll see so where do you want me to start Let's count up. <clears throat> like you guessed, my personality was in Shoko, Renju's ex-wife. That made calling Renju easy. I need to talk to you about something. He came over without question. I think it was around 4 p.m. I had him meet me at the chemical plant. I made Renju go to sleep. Synced. Switched personalities. And then stabbed Shoko's discarded body with an ice pick. I took Shoko to Bloom Park by car, using the old abandoned subway line. Must have been around 8 p.m. by the time I was finished. I tied up Shoko to one of the merry-go-round horses. After that, I used Renju's phone to send a Nile message to Mizuki. Then, I just waited for Mizuki to arrive. 
Until next Saturday evening, my personality was inside Renju. My next target was Iris. I knew she would be suspicious if I asked her to come to Kawasaki, so I asked her to come to Sunfish Pocket first. I called her a little before 5 p.m., and she arrived just after 6. I greeted her, then convinced her to come with me. That's when Ota saw us. Anyway, I put her in the car, then headed to the chemical plant. On the way, I made her take a sleeping pill. I knew she might run once she saw where we were going. It was around 7 p.m. when I got there, and I wasted no time switching bodies. After getting Iris's body, I used a rolled-up apron to strangle Renju to death. Then I put his body in an empty oil drum I had prepared earlier. I put that in the trunk of the car, then headed to Sunfish Pocket. But then... Something I didn't anticipate happened. Waiting for the signal in Akiba, someone knocked on the window of the car. It was Ota. He asked me something about being able to drive. He was surprised, to say the least. I didn't have time to waste on him. But I couldn't risk him finding the oil drum in the trunk. Plus, if word got around that Renji's car was spotted driving around Akiba, that would foil my plans. So, I came up with a lie. I told him that I didn't have a license, so he had to keep it a secret. That's what that thing referred to in Ota's Nile messages, by the way. And just like that, I managed to escape a bad situation and headed to Sunfish Pocket as planned. The rest went exactly as you already figured out. Sunday morning, I had a recording or some such thing scheduled. Oh, I am of course referring to Iris. I didn't want to draw suspicion, so I decided to attend as planned. I went to Lemniscate and performed my job. And when I left, I ran into you, Date. To be honest, I was a little surprised. Just the previous night, I was a parasite in the body of Renju. I didn't think Ota had seen me. So, of course, I didn't expect to see you there so soon. You were on to me, but there was nothing I could do about that. If I ran, it would only increase your suspicion. So I decided to play my role. The interrogation began around 8.20 p.m., is that right? Then you sinked into my mind. But you didn't get what you were looking for, did you? As a result, you had no choice but to release me. I didn't want to go home right away. I knew there might be police waiting for me. That would make it difficult to sneak out at night. And that would put my plan in jeopardy. So I asked you to take me to Marble. I tried to find an opportunity to run. But then another unexpected event occurred. I got a Nile message from Ota. I knew I could use him. So I told him I needed his help and to meet me at Marble. He did as I instructed him to do. After that, I got into the van with Ota. But because his presence was unnecessary, I asked him to stop at a convenience store to buy me something to drink. When he was gone, I took his car and drove to my parents' house where I used to live. Yes, the Sejima residence. Hmm. 
Mm, of course, I knew I couldn't just walk up and ring the doorbell. Hello, Father, it's been a long time. I was also in Iris's body at the time. But I thought I could use that to my advantage. So I pushed on the intercom and sure enough, my dad invited me inside. I told him this. I want you to come with me. There's something I need to show you. He was quiet for a while, but eventually agreed and got into the van with me. We arrived at the prototype sync machine around 11.50 p.m. By the time I was in the body of Sosajima, it was a new day. Hey, Sol. It's been a long time. Yep. Uh, we've been... Before coming back to the stream and all that, we were gone for like four or five months. Then I was able to stream for like a good two or three, and they were gone. Then we were gone again for like another two-ish months. <laughs> because of computer problems but now we're back and we've been streaming for a good uh, half a month maybe yeah about half a month now so we're back officially but hey hopefully you've been doing fantastic there isn't much to talk about on monday that's a long time to be away <laughs> my old man's body to call this one boss you might not know this she and my father go back about six years. The two shared a terrible oh, secret. <laughs> trying to wrap this up slowly but surely. <laughs> to come running to me immediately. It's going. It's taking his time. But it, I think so. Probably another two, three hours. The sedative, then brought her body to the chemical hmm. plant. I synced with her, exchanged our bodies. And after blowing my father's brains out, I cut his body into pieces. Jeez. I Which is in the vase. Into a vase I'd brought earlier, then drove back. Yeah. Continue. This was yesterday, <clears throat> early Monday morning, past midnight. In my new body, I drugged Iris, put her in the van, and drove to a new location. Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. True. <laughs> Five minutes is a long time. around one, then prepared for the show for a couple hours. Of course, when I say show, I mean dismembering Iris. Because of the temperature in the warehouse, it took longer than I expected to prepare, but... Oh, just click on your name and you'll, you'll see how long you've been following. Of course. I didn't anticipate Ota would show up. What does that make it? Three times that brat has showed up unexpectedly? That annoyed me to no end. And I took that out on him. Dressing him up in the polar bear was an impromptu plan on my part. I've been following since 2017, my dude. <laughs> I just wanted to throw a wrench into the investigation. Didn't matter if you found out or not. This all happened Monday morning. I left the warehouse around 3.30 a.m. Uh, we're having some drop frames. Sorry for the drop frames. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to pause it for a second and see if it keeps dropping. I don't know why it's dropping frames right now. I guess there's a lot going on in the house. Oh, you're on your phone? Yeah, I don't, I don't know if people can check that type of info while they're on their phone. They might be able to. You have to, like, kind of click your own name in a weird way. <laughs> it's, it's weird. Alright, I think... We're stable now? Because we have to wait for, like, OBS to adjust certain things. Waiting for it to stop flashing yellow. I think we're stable now to continue. All right. I'm going to keep an eye on you. <laughs> I 
Yeah, you're, uh, well, yeah, you were, you were younger. <laughs> you were definitely younger. Ah, the prototype sync machine has a special uh, this. It administers a strong dose of sedatives to the original body and a stimulant to the host after sync. That kept them docile. Yeah, Lar is currently behind me playing some Horizon Forbidden West. It's like, I will. That's that's going to definitely be the next playthrough once we finish this game. But that probably won't start until like Monday because I try and take tomorrow off from the stream, uh, get the archiving all caught up and everything like that. And then we'll start Horizon Forbidden West. I'm fucking excited about that one. Just, just looks so fucking gorgeous. Just so beautiful. <laughs> you know all about the prototype sync machine, don't you? That should explain it. Yeah, I'll see you around now that you know the channel is live and all that jazz. <laughs> I'll see you. I'll see you when I see you, either when you're streaming or when I'm streaming. One or the other. <laughs> Have a good one, though. And I'll let her know you said hi. <laughs> right now she's busy. <laughs> yeah, that's the reason why the eye has to be like taken out, it's because uh the prototype sinking machine can't reach the eye the nervous system and all that <clears throat> the optical nerve and blood vessels and stuff it's like an unfinished like machine and it's the damage to the eye and all that <clears throat> or to the socket Well, hopefully you're feeling better and all that. We're going to be feeling better. So, uh, hopefully nothing serious. Yeah. Oh, I'll, de I'll definitely see you around the channel, if anything. Of course, I don't really care about eyes. I don't need them. Yeah. All I cared about was exchanging bodies with the sink. And for that, I needed to remove the left eye. Why didn't you just put the eyes back when you were done? That's obvious. Once I was finished transferring into a new body, the old one was of no concern to me. Why would I bother replacing the eye? I was just going to get rid of it anyway. True. Shoko's is in Renju. Renju's is in Iris. Iris's is in Dad. Dad's is in Boss. Their stomachs, I mean. You sick ass. And Sergi was pushed back yes. because of the COVID I stuff. Immediately after exchanging personalities. Hate that. How horrible. Homicide is my hobby. I have a tenacity for it, what can I say? Of course, it was also necessary to make sure people kept their mouths shut. If I took over someone's body, they would know about my crimes. I couldn't risk them reporting me, so I killed them. It was also a matter of revenge. 
against you. It's hmm. worse. That's why I chose people close to you as targets. Well, except for my father, of course. That was personal to me. But don't ask. It's embarrassing. This series of murders was like a journey for me, you know? Traveling through bodies to finally reach the end. That's the thing about traveling. You always wind up in the same place, don't you? Where do you think that is? Your home. A trip is only complete once you return home. The same goes for me. When I return home, my travels will come to an end. So I'm oh. needing it back. That type of problem. My well, body. what? At least you, you know you're just in the healing process. Took it from me six years ago. We're in his body. That's why I want revenge? What are you talking about? You have no idea what it was like inside my <laughs> own head. Hit my ads. Oh no! I miss it. I miss my brain, Date. No matter how many people I killed, it never worked. I never felt happy. I feel miserable. You... you mean... So who were we previously? Like, who do we look like previous? He was born with a brain dysfunction. <clears throat> Due to damage to the posterior pituitary gland, he was unable to properly secrete oxytocin. Oh, that's right. My old body. How are you finding? I've actually already done a full playthrough of it. <laughs> yeah, we've already beaten it. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Telling you, but I don't have the same oxytocin deficiency you did. That is because I regularly supplement it. Oh, without Iba. They must have increased your dosage too much. That's what she was talking about right then. No, but the person who had this disorder was number 89, the original Cyclops killer. That is what I believed as well. But we must have misunderstood. Pewter did not specify oh, I did enjoy it. exactly was imprisoned. Only that one of the original culprits responsible was currently in prison. That's strange. That would mean... Number 89 is the previous chairman, Rohan. That must be it. Rohan is a parasite inside number 89's brain. Pewter must have known that. Oh. No way. Oh shit, this is this is really bizarre. <laughs> okay. Let us determine the specifics using Saito as our starting point. Okay. Whose brain was he in before boss? So Sejima. And before so? <clears throat> Iris. Iris. And before that, Renju. And before Renju. And before that, Shoko. See ya. And before Shoko. Thanks for stomping by. I was a parasite inside Rohan's brain six years ago until last year. I'd lost most of my memories. I was a shell of a man. They housed me in a special hospital. But I still had those fragments of my mind left. Just as I explained earlier. From a single piece, you can recreate the whole. I took my time, slowly regaining my memories. One year ago, I remembered everything. I left the hospital and immediately sought out Shoko Nadami. I got her body, and she was in Rohan's. When she saw herself in the mirror, she lost her mind. She was confused, panicking, running up the emergency staircase, and then... 
Oh, and that's what it made it look like a uh, suicide. <clears throat> that's why Rohan committed suicide. I accidentally fell off. I spent a year perfecting my plan using Shoko's body. I hmm. spied on you all this time. That's why I know everything about you. In there, in that body you are operating right now, in that skull, my personality lived there. Wait, hold on. If what you're saying is true, what about my personality? It was in Rohan. I'm not Rohan! Correct. It is just as he explained earlier. Number 89 was in Rohan's body. In other words... That's... My real... You're 89. <clears throat> no wonder you're so skilled at the gun and other things. Oh, there's a lot going on. <laughs> so much to digest. <clears throat> That's why it has such a, like, attracted feeling to Hitomi. Sorry, but time's up. I want my body back. It's quite simple. Sink with me and stay inside my mind for more than six minutes. And if I refuse? <sighs> I know that you won't. I know it. Huh? Date, look! This is streaming live! Shit. She has bombs all over? Oh my god. Damn you! If you give me back my body, I will give you the location. Oh, and of course, it isn't the chemical plant in the Kawasaki district. Iba, where's the source? It is being routed through numerous IPs. Shit. I cannot identify the source. Computer, contact headquarters, now! Got it! Now. What will you do? Will you agree to my request? So there's... There's two of them. Oh, well, it doesn't hurt to do it. <clears throat> See? I knew you wouldn't refuse. I know you well, don't I, Dante? If this is a bad ending, we'll just make the other choice. Oh, but he has Iba now. Oh, but Iba can self-destruct. Oh yeah, remember this. <laughs> oh, did. I did it. I did it. I'm back. I got it all back. Hey, where's Hitomi? All right, I'll tell you as promised. Boss's house. However, it might be too late by now. What? Why? Bad ending. Return my body and I'll tell you the location. That's what I said. I didn't lie. 
I kept my promise. You bastard! <sighs> You're the one who injured that pot. It's your own fault, really. Damn it. Be seeing you. Oh, there it is. Date, are you all right? Everyone's dead. I couldn't do anything. Saito had me right where he wanted me. Nothing. Nothing. exist. That's the end for that one, but we got a shit ton of information out of that. Okay, so there was a lot to process that. So apparently, Dante is actually 89. But the reason why is because of the whole uh, prototype sink sinking device. I guess they swap bodies years ago or something like that <clears throat> but yeah so Saito Sejima is the other killer the new Cyclops killer and he wants his body back so this might play out in the other timeline real quickly if it unlocks so uh I would love I would love to see where that goes so kind of wondering what route this is called and then we'll figure out if uh this is the next upcoming route so i'll let the credits roll and then we'll probably take a quick little break to stretch legs and refill drinks and other kinds of stuff like that and hopefully one more push one more push and then we'll see the ending of this game the actual ultimate like real ending of this game so <laughs> I'll see you after the credits.